friends welcome back I'm gonna do a little lip technique for you today I hope you had a great week and so let's get going with this little lip technique we all like ways to kind of make our lips kind of pop and plump and well that's not going to do any of that but it is going to give your little your lips a little bit more definition you may like it you may not but i'm going to share it with you and see what you think about it just start out with three products that's what i'm going to be using i'm going to be starting out with one of my favorite lipsticks maybelline and this is number 665 lust for blush interesting to have a job naming lipsticks i would love that job i really would i think i would thoroughly enjoy that uh, Lust for Blush, and it's number 665, and it's by Maybelline, one of my favorite uh, uh, brands of lipstick. So that's what I'm going to be using. It's Elf, and it's Sparkling Rose. As you can see how I always label them there with my label maker, Sparkling Rose. Eyeshadow. An eyeshadow, Lee, for a lipstick? Yes, eyeshadow for this lip technique on Lorac pro matte and i just happened to bring one of those down and i'm going to be using this light color the white that's in there you can use any brand those are the three products that we're going to be using today to do this little technique and let me show you what how it's going to work i'm going to put on the lipstick i'm going to put this lipstick over what i have on 665 lust for blush I'm going to pop this. You can get, I guess the darker the lipstick would probably work better the darker you chose, but I guess any one I played around and the light works too. But I'm going to stick this on. And that makes it a little bit darker. Oh, my mirror back there. I'm going to take my little index finger and I'm going to dip in the white and just dip it your finger right in the white there and I'm going to put this on my bottom lip kind of in the center and a little bit up at the top wherever you want to pucker You just want to barely tap it. You see what that does? It just kind of makes the middle of the lip just kind of come forward. And you can go over it with a gloss, a clear gloss, or a sparkling, anything that sparkles. And it just puts a little bit more pucker. So what do I have on? On a, I think it's an old, I know it's very, very old. I think it's a Sag Harbor. Uh, it's a little um, lime green tie. And the jewelry I have on is a rhinestone collar necklace that and earrings and a piece that I made from back when I was a hatter. Uh, I was head diva of my hat group for many years and I gave that up because I started my YouTube channel. And when COVID hit, it was just very hard to get a restaurant reservations and meeting rooms and everything so it just did not work so we just kind of I dropped out of red hats as well um, this last year so it's just uh, it's for the better it you know COVID has hurt a lot of things take this off and let you see what I'm talking about I've showed this before and one day I'm going to do a video I'm going to bring out all my bling and I'm going to show you all my bling that I have. If you would like to see all the bling that I have in my jewelry box, just leave me a comment and let me know because I want I want enough people to to want to see that for me to do a video on it. So this is what I have. It's just a rhinestone collar. 
like this and it has four rows. This one has four rows. And you can wear it plain if you want to without anything on it or you can put a pendant on it. Put different pendants on it. And I have several of these. I have a two row um, uh, a four and I actually even have a five that holds super, super big pieces. And this is just a pen. It's a, just a purple rose that goes on there. And my friend Jenny makes these and she made this for me. It's the dark purple rose with the Aurora Bora Ella stones, the rhinestones and the green. And I thought that, I love green and purple together. This shade of green and purple, I love together. I think it's a wonderful combination to kind of accent each color. So that is, my friend Jenny made that. And I'm gonna pop this back on and it just slides right on there like that. And like I said, if you want to see all my bling, I will dig it all out and I will put it on and let you see exactly what I have and how I wear it. I'll just put on different pieces and let you see it. But that's what I have on today. I hope you enjoyed this little technique. Give it a try. Don't laugh until you try it. Um, just put some pucker around on your lips and See if you like it. You may not, but at least you can say you tried it. So I thank you so much for watching today. I um, hope you have a great week. Come back to see me. My regular upload day is Thursday, as you well know. And again, if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. And uh, I hope you will stick around and consider subscribing. And remember to hit the, um, the like button. It helps to, does help to support my channel. So I'm going to leave you with my favorite words, my friends. Go out and make today better than yesterday. And always remember that I love you. Come back to see me next week. And I will see you Thursday with a new video. And remember to leave me a comment if you want to see some of my bling, my jewelry bling, and I'll be happy to do one of those for you, okay? Have a great week. Bye-bye, my friends.